What do you do for a living? I don't work. I take care of her kid. So you're a stay-at-home mom? Mm-hmm. And she's 11? He is. He is yeah. 11? Uh -huh. He goes to school? He does. So what do you do during the day? Nothing. You don't want to work? No, no. So you're just living off of his child support? I am. And we live with our mother. And you're proud of that? Well, well we were living with him, and I was a stay-at-home mom. He made the income. Okay. But, I mean... But you can work now, right? I can, but... So it's no but, but you can go get a job, right? I could, but I'm not going to. My rent's free, my food is free. I mean, my mom's the homeowner. We don't have to pay nothing. Okay. You know, I'm not going to go there with you today because you can, obviously you're able to work. I'm able, but I don't want to. And you should work, but again, that has nothing to do with me today. What we're going to do is talk about the modification of these numbers, all right? So your income has increased. Uh, it, it's, it's increased about almost $400. So based on you saying that you receive about 90000 on the high end, it brings your gross to about $7,500, which your net is $5,465.22. That would bring, well, health insurance. Who covers health insurance? I do. And how much is that? 110 a month. Okay, 110. So what I'm going to do is give you credit actually for the health insurance coverage for the child. So that will slightly bring your child support down. And down? Monthly, yes, slightly. It's still <laughs> expensive. Um, $1,093 a month is what he would pay in child support. That's it? That's it. Well, it would be more if you get a job. He would pay more if I got a job? No, it would be more for the child if you got a job. Your Honor, 